a neat piece. Let's make a B cut there and there. Let me lift some stuff. With the spindle gouge. There's squirrels in my roof. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. <laughs> or a cat up there trying to eat a squirrel on the roof. So I usually just very carefully. When I stop and start a lot just to see where my cut is going, mm -hmm. and my goal is to make this disc totally sharp and not have a flat spot there. Okay. So that means I need to put that cut up a little higher. And Still have a flat spot right there, mm -hmm. so I'll make it just a little bit higher. And I want to make this as small as the rest of the uh, joint, so. Mm -hmm. My goal is to not sand a lot. <laughs> I always have to sand a little bit, but there. Beautiful. Now I'll have to sand that out. And I'll see if I can sand that, but mm -hmm. this will be a gift to a friend because mm -hmm. I always, I don't trash them. I mean, after I make a mistake, I always try to finish it and see what I can. And what kind of wood is that? This is that beautiful spotted maple. I have okay. a friend who just gave me a bunch of it. Beautiful. Because I said to him, I figured out the kind of wood I really like to use for my work is spalted wood. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going back to it the... It gives it so much character. Yeah, yeah. Actually, what I want to do is pull that out a little bit so I have a little more room for the base. So I'll pull it out a hair, try to get it as symmetrical as I can. Pretty good. Now I have more wood to work with. See, I love the way it dances yeah, when you're turning it. It's really cool. Yeah. but then I'll cut it off with a saw because I hate it when you show off and catch it and you break it. <laughs> so now I'll take my saw and cut it off and then I just have a little tenon to deal with in the end to carve away. Look at that. And now that should be in the opposite direction. Hold that of for the minute. other one. Of the other one, I think it will be. I was going to make a pair so that, yep, they go in the opposite yeah, direction. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> but I'll make the next one out of wood that has more spalting in it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cool, huh? Yep, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was a new idea the other day. Why didn't I think of that sooner? That's fun. That's really neat. Love those. And then here are a lot of these cups that I'm trying to finish, but I always get distracted. I like making work. I hate finishing it. So I have these to the point now that they still have the tenons on them. Right. And uh, I've sanded these three coves on the outside. And now I have to carve. I usually carve these points so that the outside and the inside match. Oh, I so see. I'll okay. carve that out. And a lot of people say, well, how did you turn that on the inside? You know, but I don't. I just yeah, carve, carve it, it out. out. Yeah. Yeah, like um, there should be. But but what would be the what would be the harm in leaving like it? that? I, I think aesthetically. I see. Gotcha. It's yeah, prettier, it's that, prettier way. that way. Absolutely. Yeah. And then how does this come off? Well, then I make a jam chuck, and this four jaw chuck, I will put a piece of wood that will reach to the bottom of this, I and see. then I'll put the tail stock up, mm -hmm. and then as it turns, There's, I can turn you can that turn off. Turn that off. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And on this one, I was smart, and I like to do that little detail before it gets hollowed out while it's between centers. Mm -hmm. And this detail of cutting in a little bit to make the points a little proud. I didn't do it on this, so I'll have to do that at the end. I did the, this part, right? but I'll need to do my little detail on the, the on the end. Yeah, Really pretty. And then those will get finished off on the inside, so they're usable too. Yes, these are will be more functional. Yeah. The darker woods are good for like red wines or juices, coffee even. You know, mm -hmm. I have a coffee mug that I've used for years out of cherry, and the uh, lighter woods for more lighter drinks, mm -hmm. um, water, whatever, because they stain. Even though I put a CA glue in there and I put it on the end grain, red wines and and dark juices will stain it. So, mm -hmm. real neat. 